Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine E-Bikes. And for the last several months, I've been traveling around the country visiting family and friends. So I haven't published any new videos on our channel in several months. I'm now back and excited to share a whole new series of videos with our YouTube audience. Even though my normal ride is a 1500 watt rear hub kit, I'm also a big fan of the 1200 kits, of which I have two. They're very powerful and fun to ride. So in this video, I'm going to show you three of my favorite 1200 watt kit builds. The first is a friend of mine who wanted to convert his cruiser. He liked the kit so much we ended up building two more. The second was an older neighbor of mine who has trouble with her legs and wanted me to convert her trike. She loved it. And the third was for one of our clients in Pennsylvania who wanted a trail riding kit. I hope you enjoy these kits as much as I enjoyed assembling them. My friend Ian called me up and asked me to help him convert his 26-inch cruiser into an e-bike. So I recommended a 1200-watt front hub motor along with a 48-volt 17.5-amp battery. Mm -hmm. We got it at the hardware store. Uh -huh. You know, you put it down. Right, right, right. The garden that I just cut up and, um, and painted. And it's pretty thick. Yeah. I went to Ian's house to help walk him through the installation process. We began by attaching the battery to the upper tube using hose clamps and gardening pads as a shock absorber. Once installed, we changed out the battery connectors. Then we installed the controller onto the top tube, making the connection with the battery. Ian then flipped the bike over to replace the front wheel with the hub motor and make sure it was secured properly. Once he had made sure that the motor had a tight fit, it was time to install the S830 LCD control display and make connections to the controller and to the motor. Now there are 10 important functions that are controlled by the S830, everything from maximum speed to wheel size. So it's really important to follow a manual and make sure that the settings are correct. This down. Woo! Look at you. Okay. Look at you, Mr. Electric. Now what we're going to have to do, you should be able to, given the current settings, we're going to change all the settings. But uh, for the moment, if you want to lift the bike. Once everything was connected properly, it was time to give it a test and a quick road test. What's it going up to? Uh, we're at 30.8. Okay, that's not bad for a start. How's it feel? Pretty good, huh? Did you open it up all the way? Yeah. Nice, man. Yeah. weeks ago my neighbor contacted me who has difficulty with her legs has a 26 inch trike a twin trike and she just recently secured a grant to make it into an electric trike and I said I'd be happy to help her out got her a 1200 watt uh, front hub motor because it wouldn't work with the rear the rear wheels the way the bikes configured uh, a 30 amp controller and a 20 amp hour, 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. I'm not gonna show you how I put it all together, I'll just show you the various parts of the bike. Because you can see in, in videos I've done before how to install a hub motor, how to install a controller, so forth and so on. So I'm just gonna show you the before and after. The 26 inch front wheel, I've got this 1200 watt front hub motor, very easy to install. And then she's got old school brakes that can't really be converted into disc brakes, so I got her extended pads so she'd have more braking up front. She wanted to keep her three-speed uh, shifter, which I'm keeping, and then we're gonna add the 30-amp uh, controller by eBikeLing, a great company here in the United States where I've worked with many times. Um, so here's the bike, 
And now here is the bike converted. I've put it on very simple. I've got the uh, torque arm on the front, which prevents the uh, front wheel from flying out. And as you can see, uh, really, really good fit there. I added the new brake pads, which are, are really important. They're twice as much braking as she had before. Then, of course, I've got the A10 LED display. Ran the wires all the way to the back where she has a basket. Now, this is just to test the bike right now. It's going to be permanently installed. But added the controller, and then I've got a temporary battery because we're waiting for her battery to show up. So while I'm doing that, I wanted her to test it and make sure that she would be comfortable on the bike. So I took it out for a test ride just to make sure that everything worked great, and it certainly did have a lot of power. Uh, interesting riding a front, I, I typically ride a rear hub, so riding a front hub was, was interesting, but very similar feeling. So now it was my neighbor's time to finally get on the bike. I took her on a six mile round trip uh, to an area that got close to the harbor. She always wants to go to the harbor and has never been able to do it on, her, on the bike without the motor. So I thought we would go out and take, uh, take a cruise and have her get used to the bike and she couldn't have been more thrilled. She had never been on this path, which is literally in her backyard. Uh, and so I got to take her to places she had never seen before and let her uh, test the bike and get used to it. So here's her ride on her new 1200 watt trike. Yeah. We installed your motor and connected the controller, connected the SW900 LCD onboard computer, which I have a video about if you ever need to uh, learn all the functions, and the 48 volt battery. Today I'm going to take the bike out for a 10 mile test run to see how it performs on hills, and traffic, and a variety of other conditions. I just want to make sure that all the working parts are in order. Your tires are brand new, but by the time you get the bike next week, you'll have 10 miles of California dirt on them.
great ride. The bike is fast, responsive, has great front suspension, and a real joy to ride.